and welcome back to the third and final training video for the English Common Law MOOC Lecture Connection in Flax. Now in this final video I'm going to focus on the interactive activities that we have developed around the law lectures. I will um, just introduce a couple to you because when you go into this part of Flax you'll find a lot of help, a lot of um, instructions on how to use the interactive features. So we'll be looking at interaction that we've built around the English Common Law Lectures themselves and we'll be looking at the British National Corpus of English which is a hundred million word corpus of British English and I'm going to pull out some legal terms for you to demonstrate this. So I want to um, show you um, a few of these activities. There are seven in total. The first four, one, two, three, four here, are based on the English Common Law MOOC lectures. And the last three are based on the British National Corpus of 100 million words. And what I've done is I've developed some activities for you to go deeper into these lectures and in the last three activities, I've built further collections for you to understand legal English in the broader context. All of the activities in FLAX have detailed instructions on how to use them. So if you could just go into the exercises, you'll find out what to do. Uh, but let me just give you a quick demo of, for example, split sentences. And I'll show you what I've done with the lectures. Um, here with English Common Law. Uh, so if we go to the first part of the of Lecture 1, the introduction, um, what you need to do is just basically arrange, rearrange the split sentences and reconnect them. Everybody knows about the Battle of Hastings, the war that we're thinking about here. Uh, the Barons War. Okay, I'm just going to stop there and just check my answer. It says try again because I haven't um, completed it. But you'll see that the sentences in black now are correct and the ones in blue need to be completed. So I can go to a summary report here and it's going to show me, you know, I got five out of nine, 56 percent. Um, and it's also going to correct me by telling me the correct um, answers as well. So there's lots of help, lots of instructions throughout the activities. So let's go back and have a look at one of the, or a couple of the collections if we have time, based on the British National Corpus. Um, what I've done here is create um, a dominoes game out of key legal words that have occurred in the common law lectures, English common law lectures, but also they occur in this larger British English corpus. And, and what you need to do is, is drag the words into their domino position. Legislation to prevent. Okay, I'll just check. Okay, yes, I'm even though it says try again, I've got those two correct. Uh, prevent crime, most likely. Crime rate. So you get the idea of how these um, words form into collocations. Rate of divorce, divorce settlement, settlement agreement, agreement in principle, I think principle of principle of justice. Okay, let's check again. Yeehaw! Okay, we've done it and we can move on to the next activity. All right, so um, there's just one more that I'd like to show you, um, which is uh, collocations guessing. So I've just created one quite large game for you to play with here and and you'll see these words at the top here in blue. These are also the words that I've selected for this game because they're all relevant to law. 
um, and what you need to do is you click the start question button and then you need to type in one of the words from the top here into the bottom to try and complete the collocation before it reaches the bottom. So something law, uh, oops, case law maybe? No. Uh, oh, okay. So the answer, that was very really quick. The answer was common law. Um, uh, denies common assault. Okay, common cause, that's another collocation. If you click on the collocation, you can actually see how this collocation has been used across a general English corpus.